Hi everybody, today we're working on the 2009 Jeep Wrangler X. It's got a 3.8 liter engine. The customer's taking a trip to go to school in uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. So it's gonna be very cold there. So we checked out the vehicle for an inspection. First I test drove it. It's got a lot of play in the steering. I'll show you whether it's a steering box adjustment. Uh, between like 64 and 68 miles an hour, the, the steering wheel shakes a little bit, it's a little bouncy. And then you go over 70, it goes away. You go under 64, it goes away. That means your tires are out of balance. So she'll get the tires balanced on it. We'll put some wiper blades on it. And I'll kind of show you what I found out with it. Okay, for the steering box adjustment. Right down here where my finger is, there's an Allen nut. And there's a lock nut on the outside of it. So we're going to loosen the lock nut and hold the Allen steady because it'll want to move with the nut. And then we're going to turn it in one half of a turn and tighten it back down. Because it has a fair amount of play, but it's not over ridiculous. So a half a turn will be a good amount on that. Then we'll test drive it again and make sure it's enough. Then they want to check it for a tune-up. And you, the spark plugs and the spark plug wires uh, all look like someone has replaced them recently. It's a 2009. And it has a little gate code of like 2018 on the on the wire. So we know that's been replaced. The brake fluid looks good. I filled up the windshield washer fluid. The coolant looks good. I didn't just look in the reservoir. I took off the cap. And the cap looked like the seal was still working good on that. And I saw some coolant dripping. You can see the little puddle down there. So the little reservoir hose. These hoses get, just get old over time, and um, what you do is take a zip tie and put it up so there's like a little ledge there, and then just put a zip tie on it, put it on snug, and it'll solve that problem for years to come. Then you want to look at the battery. So we have a little bit of corrosion with clean up there. It's uh, September of 2019, so the battery's just a little over two years old or so, so it's still good for a while. Usually good for about four years on these deck of batteries. Uh, I pulled the transmission stick up, which is this one right here. The fluid's bright red, looks like it's in good condition. The engine oil is dirty. We're gonna put a new filter on it. Uh, another thing you wanna check is the drive belt. The drive belt's been replaced before. The throttle plate looks pretty clean inside here on the outside. I'm running the, B the BG fuel injection cleaner to it right now. But I opened the throttle with my finger and looked on the back side of it, and it was all full of carbon. So someone just sprayed some cleaner, wiped off the outside of it. And when I tested it over, I noticed it had a loss of power. So this will wake up the power. It's good for about 25,000 miles. She's gonna be super happy with that. And we got some wiper blades coming for it because they're just old and we have a newer style that's, that's a, a, bigger, a, big, a bigger fit, a better fit. It's a wider blade and it's just a more fancy look. Um, this is, since this is a convertible top, there's not gonna have any, any wiper on the back of it. All the tires have fairly good tread still. So I'll get it up on a lift and do an oil change later uh, after the fuel injection service is done. But that's just a quick recap. You want to look things over, test drive them first, see how everything works. Um, the air filter's over here. You can see the air filter's pretty dirty. So there's not a bunch of stuff you have to do, but the most important thing to do is have someone qualified drive the vehicle, see how it feels. Does it have a shake in the wheel like this one does at a certain speed? Does it have looseness in the steering? People get used to these things when they own a vehicle when they're new, so it's, there's no big deal. They just get used to it over time. When someone like me drives it, oh, that's too much play there, that's off there. So you do all these little minor adjustments, a half a day later, you got a real happy customer. They can have a safe trip, their family's not worried about them. Thank you very much, have a great day.